Hi everyone! So let's open up Adobe Fresco on the iPad and let's learn about the new features in the Adobe Fresco 4.7 June 2023 release. So one of the first features I want to share with you is you can now apply motion in place. So you can transform your designs by applying multiple motion path effects like grow and shrink directly onto your animation without needing them to follow a specific path. So let's try out this effect. So I'm going to go ahead and add some spark to my design. I'm just selecting my spark here and I'm going to place it on my canvas. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on the motion icon on the bottom right corner of my iPad to pull up the animation tools. So in order to apply this grow and shrink, I'm going to have to click on path here. And now these settings pop up. I have to click on the grow and shrink toggle and turn it on. And now I can apply a percentage of how much this spark is growing and shrinking. I can also include multiples. So I can say add multiples and scatter them around my canvas. You can see here that we don't see all of the multiples because they're kind of going off of the screen. But again, I can increase or decrease the scatter. I can add multiples and I can also select the percentage of how much larger and smaller they are growing and shrinking. Now I've just kind of updated the settings for the animation and lastly we can increase the number of times that they are growing and shrinking so you can see it's kind of speeds up that sparkle animation. Um, just remember these are cool tools you don't have to follow along a path you can just apply the grow and shrink technique to your animation just scatter them add multiples select your percentage and the number of times that the animation is happening. So another really cool feature is now you can draw inside and close areas using a pixel vector or a live brush while keeping strokes constrained to boundaries. So let me show you how this works. So essentially what I'm going to do here is I'll create a new layer at the top just to show you guys how this works. Let's say I want to make, draw another flower and I'll grab my brush. I will grab a hard round brush here and I'm just going to draw a flower here. something like that. And let's say I want to fill it in. So now if I tap on this icon here, I can paint inside of it. So I can draw inside of it like this. You can see here, I can quickly draw and fill it in. Now you can see here, it's not grabbing those edges. So if I hold down, I can increase the color margin. And as I increase it, I should be able to fill in these areas. And you can see here, I'm not able to, so as much as I'm trying to fill it in, it doesn't work. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to actually have to undo all that. So erase everything that you just did and start all over, and now that increased margin will work. So obviously this will take a while, so I can just grab a big brush here and fill it in. So that is the Draw Inside tool, which is really cool. And then if you hold down, we can also toggle the transparent areas on and off. So let's try this out. I'll grab my eraser and erase the center portion of my flower and now I'll grab my brush and let's make sure transparent is turned on and then I'll go to the color white and I'll grab a brush to fill it in. So I'll grab the brush and then I can fill it in and it'll fill in those transparent areas only. So that's another cool feature where you can now draw inside enclosed areas using a pixel, vector, or live brush. So another cool thing in 4.7 is their exciting set of prismatic brushes and multicolored swatches. So go to your pixel brushes and scroll down and find the multicolor brushes. And this is where you're going to find all of those cool looking brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and select the cheesy brush here. I'll reduce the size on this and I can draw on my canvas. Hello. And you can see here really, really fun brushes that you should definitely check out. And another cool thing is now there's a bunch of new brushes that you can add. So they just added a spring brush set and a summer brush set. So if you guys want to add those brushes, all you have to do is you go to your pixel brushes. I'll go back, click on add brushes and click on discover new brushes. And then you can see the ones that are new. So obviously if you didn't get the spring brushes, you can add them here. All of the brushes here you can add. I can click on add the summer brushes. And then I'll click on add the spring brushes. And I'll click on done. And now when I open up my brush panel, and I scroll down, you can see them here, the spring and the summer. So I wanna go to the spring, and maybe I wanna add some texture to my design. So once the brushes are done loading, I'm just going to kind of go through them and see which ones I want to add. I want to add some texture to my final design, so I'm just kind of filtering through them. I think I like this one, and I'm just drawing on top of the entire design. It kind of looks like water. Um, and then just playing around with the opacity, reducing the opacity and changing the blend mode. 
to really make it pop on the screen. So kind of just going through and selecting screen overlay. And this is how it looks. I really like the way it looks. It kind of reminds me of water. And lastly, another cool feature is now you can manage your favorite brushes with greater flexibility and customization. So now you can save any pixel, vector, or live brush, their settings and color information in a library of your choice. So let's say I wanna make a new brush here. So I'm just gonna go and grab a regular brush here and just draw three lines. I'm gonna grab yellow, so I'll draw a yellow line here. And then next up, I will grab a green. And then lastly, I'll grab more of a brown here. So I have these three colors that I wanna create a brush out of. And if I go to the eyedropper tool, I can actually select the multicolor eyedropper and select those three colors as a brush. But it's a little bit too thick of a brush for me, so I'm gonna decrease the size of my drawing here and I'll grab it again. So then I'll select it and now I should select all three of those colors. Now I'll go ahead and hide that layer and create a new layer. And with my new brush, I can draw on my screen and you can see here I've created a brand new brush, which is really cool. So now I can actually save this brush. So all I have to do is click on the brush settings at the bottom and then I click on the three dots and click save as a new brush. So here you can actually click on save the color and then you can save it to a library or create a new library to save it to. And then just click save. So that's all for Adobe Fresco for the 4.7 release. What are you guys most excited about? I want to know. Let me know in the comments what feature you are more excited about. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe.